Welcome back to Iron Scrub. Today we're going over the Abbott COVID-19 AG Rapid Test. This is a 15-minute test you can do at home. These are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need the solution that comes with it, also the Q-tip that's pre-packaged, as well as the COVID-19 card. Don't open this card until you're quite ready to do the test. Also some gloves and some hand sanitizer. You will also need the box for the barcode. It's not shown here, but don't forget you're going to need that box, okay? So go ahead and hand sanitize or wash your hands prior to putting the gloves on. Shove these babies on. And then you're going to go ahead and open your packet. You're going to grab this card out here. As you can see, there's the control and sample window right there. Two lines is positive, one line is negative. That's your barcode that you're going to scan later on. This is a lay flat type card, so open it up so it's easier for yourself. You're going to see the wells right here. Grab your solution that it comes with and gently put six drops in the top well. Make sure not to contaminate it with the drop. So be careful not to touch the dropper with the paper. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and inform your patient what you're going to do. He or she should already know, right? But just in case. Also hand some tissue if he or she needs some tissue. Gently lower the mask down just beneath the nose. So if he or she sneezes, it's not all over you. Now you're gonna grab this. Make sure you don't touch the tip of that uh, Q-tip. Just the end of it like this. You're gonna place it in the nostril, in the nares for 15 seconds. This is an anterior nasal swab, so don't go all the way to the top. It's not a nasal pharynx one. So the anterior nasal swab is just enough so that it, it is able to immerse the Q-tip portion in there. It might tickle a little bit. Then the next one, 15 seconds more. And same thing, this is fast forwarded, of course. Don't fast forward it on your own self, otherwise it's gonna be inaccurate. Okay, and finally, you're gonna go ahead and grab the specimen Put it towards the bottom well right there and then kind of loop it underneath twist it three times like so and you're going to go ahead and close this so tear off the sticky part right there press firmly and you're going to go ahead and put the name the date and the time of the specimen collection and since this is only one patient, I'm not going to put the name down. Obviously, if it's in a facility, you're going to go ahead and put the name of the patient down there. But it is important that you remind yourself what time you started because this is a 15-minute test. And now we wait. As you can see here in the control window, you're going to go ahead and look to see the blue is disappearing. Don't, don't fret over that. It's supposed to disappear. And then after 15 minutes, yeah, they're going to see a positive or a negative. So the positive is going to be two lines and the negative is going to be one pink line straight across. And as you can see here, time lapse, this is a negative result. All right, at this point, you can go ahead and have the patient record his or her results on the Navica Abbott app and just follow the prompts. Um, he kind of went ahead and didn't have the box on this. Uh, you guys will have the box when you guys do it at home. Make sure you save that box and then scan this, the barcode on the side. Um, and then it's going to ask you questions, of course. And then you're going to go ahead and scan the card itself. This is invalid because we don't have the box. Um, and you can go ahead and choose which one, of course. And it's really quite easy. Basically, you're just going to scan, scan after you put your information in. And you have your digital wallet there for your results. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.